and welcome to the cast channel. My name is Kelsey and in this video I just wanted to kind of go through what I put into my birdie bag which is kind of my to-go parrot bag um, and it's full of, oh that's not yours, full of really fun things that the bird obviously really wants. Um, so let's kind of just jump right in. They're little foot toys that I like to have on hand when she's being ornery and needs to be chewing something or doing something. Um, I also keep like skewers and wood sticks and things for her to hand to her like right now. Some paracord. She loves this one. She'll like kind of preen the ends that are fraying. It'll keep her busy for a little bit. Um, really the whole point of all these foot toys is to keep her busy and occupied when she's little ornery and we're somewhere that I need to keep her quiet and busy. So uh, it's nice to have something in her mouth that is appropriate, not plastic. <clears throat> These are a couple of cat toys that I got at a natural pet food and supply store. Um, I made sure any, if I do buy stuff like this, I make sure that there's no catnip in it. These two are just bells. Um, they both have a rattle in them. They're, that one she really likes to slam on the ground. I don't know why. Odd bits and pieces, a little tiny rope. <laughs> and uh, beads. Beads are really fun. This is one of her favorites, by the way. It's a little green bead. My favorite. Something else I keep is this chain. Um, and it does have a couple dog tags on it that she does pick up and throw around. And I hooked a little another cat toy bell on there. Um, but she really loves the chain and eating at the beads of the chain. I don't give it to her all the time for obvious reasons of like hormone triggering and other stuff. But sometimes in a pinch when I really need to get that, get her distracted by something, um, this is a great way and it'll keep her entertained forever as long as I use it sparingly and carefully. The rest of what's in her goodie bag here, if I can make that stay there. I have some spare food that I keep, um, obviously a little container of spare food. I used to use chopsticks, she kind of likes to shred chopsticks, so they're painted um, skewer, or not skewers, but dowel rods, so I use kind of a dowel rod as her target stick. A water bottle in here, that's important. Uh, those are seeds, <laughs> treats. Um, the skewers, so I have her harness. I keep her harness on hand in here. It's not the easiest thing to put on, but she does okay once it's on. Uh, more toys and more more playthings. So that's honestly pretty much, oh, spare attachments for hanging stuff in her travel cage. Your clickers, there's a few extra clickers in there. Do you want that? Or do you want that? So along with the toys that I obviously keep on hand for her, I keep her training bag. So I have her, my training bag, um, armed with treats and toys, or treats and food, <laughs> armed with treats and food in it um, for training purposes. I have a treat training pack for each and every one of my animals with their designated treats in it. So that's pretty much what I keep on hand. And this is my little travel to go, you know, throw her in her her carrier and we have to rush out the door, I am prepped and prepared to take her on the road. But I think it's important for all pets to have a, kind of an emergency ready to go bag. I have something similar for my dog, so maybe I'll do a video on that with a dog. Um, with the horse, I keep the trailer pretty stocked. So kind of the same idea. It's ready to go if I needed to pack her up and take her away somewhere. A little tip is be prepared. Um, have your animals toys, food, water, and dishes or whatever, you know, spare things that you can put together to really make sure that they're going to be living happy and you don't have to change their routine up too much if you did need to leave for a couple days. Just I have it prepped because on a daily, I try to take my animals somewhere new and I just make sure I grab that. That's a wrap. Uh, thanks for watching and joining me here at the cast channel and I look forward to the next video we get to share together. My camera says I hate staying focused.